ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. She's not playing nice anymore with former President Joe Biden. I'm so, I keep saying that, guys. He's still the president. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, please check that address in the lower right-hand corner. It's YouTube.com forward slash at Explain America. Hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. You know, guys, when I think about it, I keep calling him the former president because he's virtually disappeared. All right, it's all Harris all the time. In fact, when the leader of Hamas was downed by the Israeli military, it was Harris who spoke to the American people about it. How crazy is that? When there was a hurricane coming, Harris was out in front of the cameras like she hadn't been for the previous three and a half years. Suddenly, the vice president's role is super important. It's so transparently ridiculous, and I apologize for it, but it's why I keep thinking he's the former president. That being said, Nancy Pelosi is one of the people who, well, kind of made this all happen. Even though I think she wanted a primary, she wanted Biden gone. And in her zeal on Christine Amanpour's CNN show, the Amanpour Hour, on Saturday morning, in her zeal to attack former President Donald Trump, the opponent of Vice President Kamala Harris for the presidency, she also attacked Joe Biden, saying that both men were, quote, so old, end quote, so old. Now, Joe Biden's 81. Trump, I believe, is 78 or 79. Pelosi's 84. She's 84. How is this woman, how, how does she have the audacity to call anybody else old? Anybody. She's two days older than water. And she's calling people old? And this is why Joe Biden's still not talking to her. She keeps shoving him under the bus. This is absolutely crazy. I want you to watch this video and let me know what you think in the comments. To win this election, and it depends on the turnout. They say Nancy Pelosi is who and what convinced President Biden that he had to reconsider. And as you famously put it, make the decision about whether he's going to run or not going to run. Do you talk to him since, well, since I July? I haven't spoken to him since July, but of course we've been out of session for a while and I've been on the campaign trail constantly. I have great respect for the president. I think his legacy is a very substantial one for our country. Uh, it is our legacy too. I did not want that to be lost. Now, my concerns were about the campaign, not about the candidate. He's fabulous. But the campaign, I thought, was not going in the right direction, and I expressed my concern about that. It was up to the president to make the decision whether he would continue to run. He made that decision. Do you think you could have won with him as the candidate? It's hard to believe. You know, I'm, it's hard to ask me that question because I don't understand how anybody could vote for Donald Trump, but they do, and so we have to be prepared. I do think there was a generational thing, though, that um, had to be recognized. The two of them, so old to be running for president. Uh, you talk about Trump. I want to play what Trump actually said about democracy and about